Hey, this is Mikolai. I'm the maker of LaunchUI. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a modern responsive landing page with Next.js 15, React 19, Shotzi and UI, and the components from the Launch UI library. I'm going to walk you step by step for building a landing page from scratch. We're going to start with a blank Next.js project, add all the components, and customize them. Set a theme, change fonts, change the colors, assets, and so on. The libraries and components we are going to use are 100% free and open source. Launch UI is a package of components that has both a free and a paid version, so some of the components are only available in the pro package. However, in this video, we'll focus on the free stuff. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to get and install the pro version, but that's totally optional. In terms of requirements, you need to have Node.js installed on your machine, a code editor, and a web browser. I'm going to assume that you have some very basic HTML, CSS, and JavaScript knowledge. It also helps if you're already familiar with React and Tailwind CSS. If at any point you get stuck, don't hesitate to reach out to me by email or by opening an issue on GitHub. You'll find the links to both of those under the video. All right, let's get started. I will Google for Launch UI. And from here, go to the documentation, the installation page, and copy the CLI command that allows me to create a blank new project. I'm going to paste it into my terminal and hit Enter. And it asks me if I want to create a new project. So I'm saying yes. And I call it my app. And now we have to wait a few seconds for the process to complete. Once it's done, I'm going to enter my project directory and from there, open a code editor. From here, we can run npm run dev. And this will open our app in a local environment. You can follow the link to see it in the browser. Now, let's add our first component. I will go back to the launch UI documentation and start with a navbar. Let's go to the navbar documentation page and copy a terminal command. I will now go back to the code editor, open a new terminal tab, and paste the command and hit Enter. Again, we need to wait a few seconds for the components to install. And once it's done, we can go into our page TSX file and yeah, just as we place all of its content with uh, navbar. Now, so I'm going to save the page and go back to the browser. I will see that um, my app has the launch UI navbar all working and kicking. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is to change the theme. I want my website to work in dark mode. So I'm going to go to my root layout, which is under the layout TSX file. And here on the body element, add a dark class. I'm also going to set the text color to text um, foreground and the background color to background, which will use the default variables from the global CSS file. Okay, let's go back, let's save it, and see it in the browser. Great. Now our website will be working in dark mode. The number alone is not enough for a good landing page though. Let's go back to documentation and add some more components. Let's, for example, add a hero. I will, again, copy the comment, go back to my code editor, paste this comment into the terminal, and wait for it to install. It asked me if I wanted to replace the button TSX component, but as this is exactly the same button as used in the navbar, it doesn't really matter which option I choose. So I just hit enter. All right, this is now done, and I can go back to my page TSX and add another component. Now it will be hero. Let's go back to the browser. And yeah, here we are. The hero is working. All right, it's starting to look good. Now let's add a few more components to complete the page. All I have to do is follow the same steps. Go back to documentation, choose the section I want to use, copy the terminal command, go to my code editor, paste the command, and hit Enter. 
once the installation is complete, I can add the component to the page. Now let's do the same for a few more components. This way, in just a few minutes, I have a fully working landing page. All right. As you might have noticed, one thing we're missing here is assets. So let's say we don't have this image here. To fix that, we need to find the right section, which is the hero. And here you can see that um, the SRC variable is uh, referring some assets that do not exist. To fix that, I can use um, any image I want, like a screenshot of my app. Let's go to the Launch UI website, Launch DevTools, um, and go for screenshot. All I have to do is to create a public folder in my app, and there put my screenshot. I will rename it to app PNG. Let's go back to the code editor. And um, as I'm not using light and dark mode, I'm just using um, dark. I will remove all this, get rid of the theme resolution, and um, find the image. And instead of the SRC variable, put the app PNG file. Now, if I go to the browser and look at my website, here we are. This is our mockup. But this is not the only thing we can do. We can also uh, put a fully working component here so people can get the real feeling of your product. To demo that, let's go to the official chat and UI website. For this example, let's use this login page. Copy the install command, go back to the editor, paste the command, hit enter, wait for the files. And now, instead of the image, I can try pasting the login page here. Now, when I go back to the browser, instead of the image, I can see my component, fully working, interactive, and clickable. The last thing I want to show you is customization. Everything you see can be customized. Fonts, colors, layout, sizes, border radius, anything. In terms of how to do that, some of the values you might want to change, you will find in the global CSS file. So let's say here you have all the colors defined. If you'd like to change the brand colors, they are defined as the brand and the brand foreground at the bottom of this rule. And um, those two values are the values for the root, which is going to be working for light mode. And here below, you have the values for the dark mode. Those numbers are the HSL values without the color function. You can read more about why it's done like that in the chat CNUI and in tailwind documentation. So those values I can replace with uh, any other HSL values and go to the browser. I can see that now my page has an accent color of purple. And also a lot of um, customization can be done with tailwind uh, config file. So let's say here uh, you have reference to all those colors and um, some settings for stuff such as dark mode. And you also will find a border radius or uh, fonts. Now, by default, uh, you have um, CSS variables used for um, font values, which are not uh, defined or used uh, anywhere as we just started with a blank Next.js template. Um, so what I can do is I can go to my layout and um, first uh, use this uh, tailing class. So that would be uh, regular. And then in the tailwind, uh, I can just um, replace this uh, with whatever font I have working. And now if I go back to the page, I can see that, yeah, the whole page is in Futura. And the last thing I want to show you is Launch UI Pro. Apart from the components we just used, there are also dozens of other components you can get access to by purchasing Launch UI Pro. You'll find it on the launchuiComponents.com website. And there you can purchase it through Lemon Squeezy. Once I complete the purchase and download the zip file, all I have to do is to uncompress the files and copy the insides of the package. I will take UI sections, logos, illustrations, and drop them directly into the components folder. There will be some overrides, which is all right. Let's click Replace. And now I have dozens of components to use in my landing page. Animated illustrations, logo types, sections, 
So now, if I, let's say, want to add a Bender grid to my website, all I have to do is choose a variant, complete my code, and go back to the browser. As you can see, now I have a fully working animated Bender grid. Thank you all for listening. Thank you all for following through. Again, if you have any questions, if you need help, just reach out. You can do it through GitHub, you can do it through the email, or find me on social media such as X and LinkedIn. Thank you and good luck.